As long as your Synology NAS is connected to the mains power, you can remotely turn on your NAS using an option called Wake Up on LAN. However, in order for Wake Up on LAN to work, you first need to enable it within the Disk Station Manager software. As you can see here, we are currently logged into the DSM using an administrator's account. So if we select Control Panel, and then Advanced Mode, from within the grouping called System, we need to select Hardware and Power. Under the General tab, you will find an option called Enable WOL on LAN. When we enable this feature, if our NAS is switched off, we will be able to remotely instruct the NAS to power on. Let's now click Apply to save our settings, close the control panel, and then test that Wake Up on LAN works by shutting down our NAS. Now from a computer, let's try and wake our Synology NAS. In order for us to wake our NAS, the computer that we're working from has to be able to send the NAS something called a magic packet. A magic packet can be created in a number of ways, but the easiest is to use a specialist piece of software. For this demonstration, we will use a piece of software called Wake on LAN by Depicus. You can find a link to the Depicus website in the description to this video. When we load Wake on LAN, we're presented with a number of fields to which we have to enter the correct information. First, we need to enter the MAC address of our NAS. Next, as we will be sending a magic packet from a computer connected to our home network, we need to enter the local IP address of our NAS. This is another good reason why we recommend that you assign your NAS with a static IP address. Within subnet mask, we need to enter the subnet mask of our home network. In our case, that is 255.255.255.0. Send options allows us to choose either internet or local subnet. As we will be sending a magic packet via our home network, we will choose local subnet. Finally, the remote port number should be set to nine. When we select wake up, you can see that our NAS has switched itself back on. However, we will have to wait for the NAS to fully initialize before we can once again access either the DSM or any services on our NAS.